We are blind to tens of thousands of years of human warfare. But now, the war will be on TikTok. The widespread use of drones is a staple in this war. They are being used for both reconnaissance and offensive means. The next clips show the more offensive capabilities of these drones. These clips all show Ukrainian drones seeking out and hunting Russian troops. The full clips are in the comment section. They are extremely quiet as they drop grenades from above. The Russians have quickly learned to fear death from above. Just look how they react when they see drones. While drones enable armies to strike with more precision, mass bombardments are still not going away anytime soon. For example, look what happened here at Mariupol.
The Russians are currently facing a shortage of drones. The kind you're looking at here are called the Orlin 10s. They are capable of picking targets from the sky via laser guided technology. That signal is then relayed to artillery batteries or friendly aircraft. They're able to pinpoint their strikes from there. Since there's a shortage of these drones now, Russians are actually climbing trees with binoculars just to see if they could get a sight of their target. The next clip shows a so-called kamikaze drone made by Iran and used by Russia. Ukrainian troops try to shoot at it with their rifles so it doesn't hit its target. The Battle of Kursk is widely regarded to be the largest tank battle of all time. It was between the Soviet Union and Nazi Germany. Modern technology has transformed tank and armored vehicle combat. As Russia's war effort has faltered, they've become more reliant on long-range missile systems. They've been trying to knock out Ukraine's electrical grid. This comes at a time as winter fast approaches. They're trying to break the will of the Ukrainian people. These cruise missiles are so powerful. Listen to how loud it is from the perspective of this girl who just so happened to be doing a recording at the time of impact. Ukraine does have air defense systems, but nowhere near enough. They've been scrambling to get more. These systems are pretty impressive. They have a variety of them, and they can even take out cruise missiles in midair. This next clip features a Russian KA-52 attack helicopter. This first person view allows you to get a feel for what it would be like to be an attack helicopter pilot over Ukraine.
Almost all the clips shown in this video were released by the soldiers themselves. This was made possible solely by the technology of the times. I think it's important to show what's going on in the hearts and minds of these troops. In the history of warfare, troops often develop a sort of gallows humor. This is a coping mechanism in the hellish landscape of war. The next clip is what seems to be the original, but I'm not sure, of this meme that's been going around and being used in a variety of different war videos now. The second one seems to have used the audio from the first. I just want to reiterate, I'm not trying to downplay any harm or suffering that has come to any of these troops. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I feel there's no winning. It's just a matter of which side loses the least. All we can do is hope and pray that a peaceful solution is found as fast as possible. It is one of the beautiful compensations of life that no man can sincerely try to help another without helping himself. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I believe the inverse is true. It is impossible to harm another person without harming yourself. If you guys enjoyed this content, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and know that the very next video that I will make is another awesome Ukraine one. I'm about to put out a crazy amount of videos over the next year, and this is just the beginning. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy. See you next time.